above all powers, above all kings, above all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wiley Gray, and this is the Spanish Orchestra Symphony Orchestra. All right, I'm at a microphone. <laughs> this is a special Saturday edition of the Wiley Drake Show. Many of you know we do a Wiley Drake Show at Monday morning through Friday at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. called The Wiley Drake Show. If you're ever on our show, if you're ever here and would like to be on the show, we welcome you to come on the show. And you can also, this show we're doing right now is going live around the world on the internet. When this show is over, when we shut down, my technician will send it to YouTube. You can go to YouTube and put the Wiley Drake Show in and you'll see what's going on uh, shortly thereafter in the archive. I do special shows all the time. We do special shows outside of clinics. We do special shows in Washington, D.C. And by the way, I am indeed a candidate, and I'm not here to talk about that as much today except to introduce someone, but I am a candidate for President of the United States. When you vote in November, you have three choices. You can vote for a Muslim who believes in pedophilia, or you can vote for a Mormon who believes he's going to be a god one day, or you can vote for Wiley Drake, a Baptist preacher, and I'm a write-in candidate. Now, with that in mind, I want to politic just for a couple of minutes. I want to ask my guests to come up here, and I want my audience uh, here as well as around the world to be introduced to Dr. Robert Ornalis, who is my vice presidential candidate. Amen. Say good morning to our folks. Uh, good morning to everybody around the world. If you're in Africa, if you're in D.C., Capitol Hill, East Coast, Midwest, down south, uh, much love. Uh, we are in Buena Park, California today, excited to be here, excited about God, and we have some special friends from Montana, the great state of Montana, from the Crow Nation, along with the uh, Northern Cheyenne as well. So excited to be out here. All right, very good. Thank you so much. Now, I want to ask the whole nation from Montana, you guys just make your way up here and, and just sort of uh, put get close in, but uh, right directly behind me, if you would, please. The reason these folks are here, I'm going to let them tell you, but the reason they're here from my perspective is, is that a few weeks ago, my vice presidential candidate said, Wiley, I have some friends that are coming to town, and I'll let them tell you why they're here in a moment. They're coming to town, but they need a place to stay. And so we put them up for the last few days. And as I said to them earlier today, uh, it's not the best accommodations in the world, but the price is right. It's free. And so I want to ask their leader, where you at? come on over here and get here where you can look at the camera. And I want you to tell our listening audience uh, who you are and where you're from. Uh, good morning. Um, I'm glad to be here. I give honor to God for being here, and I thank uh, Pastor Wiley and my brother Robert uh, for inviting us into this place so we can have a good place to stay. We, we're not complaining, hey man, and we appreciate what the uh, church is doing for us. But uh, we're a part of a ministry that's um, growing and expanding uh, the kingdom of God. And we have today with us, um, or with me, is the men and women group that we formed uh, just a few months ago. Uh, it's called the Mighty Men of God and a Save with Amazing Grace crew. And we're from the Great Crow Nation in Montana, and my wife is from the Northern Cheyenne Nation in Montana. A couple others from South Dakota Sioux, Sioux Nation. And um, we're just here on a the conference trip at the uh, Nokia Theater here in L.A. Uh, we've been there for the past couple of days at the Nokia Theater uh, participating in the uh, Jesus culture 
conference and that's why we're here is to get an impartation receive some anointing and fire and power from god and you know take it back home and start a fire there spiritually so amen that's what we're here for amen god thank bless you. you thank you so much brother for sharing with us thank you now i want to ask his wife to come to the microphone and we're going to have everybody come to the microphone and i'm going to ask you to come and say my name is and I represent whatever uh, nation you represent and say anything you'd like to say to a worldwide audience. So come on down and make sure you speak up and give them your name and what nation you represent and uh, so forth. My name is Nicole Stops. I represent the Northern Cheyenne Nation. All right. And I'm just blessed to be here. All right. Do you have children? I have two children, Justice, he's one, two, and Marasia, she's seven. All right, so two and seven yeah. children. All right, anything else you'd like to say to the worldwide audience? Um, we love you, and God bless you. All right, all right. Thank you so much. All right, let's go to her right. Come on down. <laughs> You're live on the Wiley Drake Show. And by the way, when you get through with this, you can go to your laptop, your, your computer, your iPod, your smartphone, wherever you go online, and go to the WileyDrakeShow.com, and you'll see yourself. So now, there's your camera. Share who you are, what you represent. My name is Sarah Bullchief, and I represent the Crow Nation in Montana. All right, very good. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, we love you, and be blessed. Amen. We love you and be blessed. That's a good blessing. All right. Next one over here. Hi, I'm Christian Little, and I'm from the Crow Indian Reservation back in Montana. And, um, and I appreciate the pastor here for letting us stay here and not charging us. That's pretty awesome. And I just want to say I love you. Amen. Yeah, and Jesus loves you. Amen. Yeah. And Jesus loves you too. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Next one here. Come right on in. And feel free to share anything you'd like to share, but I want to know the basics. Who are you, who you represent, and then whatever you'd like to share. Okay, I'm late to North PN. I'm from the Crow Nation. Um, you know, I just want to thank God for the blessings in my life. You know, I'm, I'm changed, man. I'm reborn. It's been two months now. And, you know, I just give glory to God. You know, he's amazing. You know, he, he does everything you need him to do. Um, but I just encourage you guys to keep on coming to church. And if you are watching, you know, just lift up your hands and praise him every day because he is real. And, you know, he's coming. He's coming soon, too. So, Amen. so just, just be ready. You know, just read your Bible. Keep, you, keep yourself in the word every day. Amen. So, but God bless and thank you. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Next. Hello and God bless everybody. My name is Terry Cummins North again. And I represent the great Crow Nation of Montana. And um, that, that was my husband that just spoke. And I just want to say God bless everybody, you know, that's watching this. And I just give all my glory and my thanks to our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. And amen. How long have y'all been married? Uh, we've been married for two, about two months now. Oh, but, newly wins. Yeah. No wonder you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you yeah. so much. God bless you. All right. Now, yeah, come on up. Again, who you are, who you represent, and what do you got hanging on your side there? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Tanya Stewart. I come from the Great Crow Nation in Montana. I just give God all the glory for always being there for me, giving my life back. You know, he's never left me. He's continued to bless me, provide for me. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have my children. If it wasn't for him, I would have nothing. You know, I just love the Lord with all my heart and want you all to know that He's a healer, you know, he's your doctor, he's provider, you Amen. know. He's given me my child, he's my miracle baby, I call him my miracle baby, you know, this is Ezekiel, he's 11 months, he'll be one years old on August 30th, and you know, the doctors told me that I wasn't even supposed to have him, mm. trying to make me abort my child, but I mm. couldn't, and you know, I just thank the Lord for him, and he's just a blessing, to, or my child is a blessing, and I just thank the Lord that he's just always there for me, and I just <laughs> want to let you guys all know that Jesus loves you. And he wants to be a TV star. He likes that microphone. <laughs> God bless you. How many children do you have? I have four. Four. Tell, come back and tell, tell who your children are. I have four children. Deidre, she's 11. Deborah is 7. Demarcus is 5. And Ezekiel is 11 months. All right. God bless you. God bless you. This is Ezekiel? Yes, this is Ezekiel. 
All right, Ezekiel. This is the mighty day of Ezekiel. Okay, we get everybody here. Next one down. Same thing, who you are, who you represent, and whatever you'd like to share with our worldwide audience. Um, hello, my Crow native name is a young man who carries the Holy Bible, and my name is uh, Mervil, Mervil Bud Phelan, and I represent the Crow Nation. And I would just like to say uh, uh, to the pastor, thank you for having us, and uh, it is a blessing, and I appreciate it because... Uh, I didn't know where I was in sleep because I didn't bring a blanket, but there's a really comfortable couch in there. <laughs> and uh, um, I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. All right. Thank you so much. All right. We have another young fella here. Again, who are you? Who you represent? My name is Cedell Takes the Horse, or Cedell Enoch. And I just want to, I come from Crow Agency, Crow Nation. I just want to thank God for this crew behind me because I wouldn't be where I am in God if it wasn't for these guys. And, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right. Young lady, come on over. Same questions. My name is Marissa Gutluck, and I come from Crow Agency Nation. And I'm just so blessed that I'm in this crew. And it's just a blessing because it's like a second home for me. And I just thank God for you for giving us this place to stay. Bless you. Thank you. Thank and you. God bless. Blessing to have you. Blessing to have you. All right, come on over. God bless. My name is Angel Onehorn. I'm from the Great Sioux Nation, the only Sioux in the group. Does so anybody like to say God bless? And I thank the pastor here for keeping us because we rather stay here and minister to people and talk to them about God and stuff, what he's done in our lives, than stay in a hotel. Amen. <laughs> All right, thank you. thank you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, next. Um, I'm Dolores Takes Horse, and I represent Crow Nation. I just like to say I'm blessed to be here, and thank you. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Okay, did we get everybody? Yep. Yes, sir. All right, y'all can go back and have your seat. And I'm going to make a couple more comments, and uh, if anybody thinks of anything, you said, oh, I should have said, you know, and you want to do that, we'll let you come back up here. We're going to stay on for a few more minutes. I am going, though, in the next few minutes to tell a story that I told to their leader earlier, but I want to tell it to the rest of the group as well as all of our audience, and that is simply this. A number of years ago, I had the privilege to go back to Alabama and, and be there with some folks and uh, was there with a judge who had been threatened with jail because he wouldn't take the Ten Commandments out of the courtroom, Judge Roy Moore. I had the privilege to go back there and stand with him and to do my first radio broadcast on a courthouse steps there in Alabama. And we traveled around the country because they did eventually throw him out. And so we put the Ten Commandments monument, big, huge monument, on a trailer and traveled all over the country. And as we travel around the country, we said the Ten Commandments is what God wants us to honor. And we are told people about Jesus and saw many folks come to know the Lord as a result of that little tour around the nation. The last stop on the tour was in Washington, D.C. We were there in the district, in the Capitol. We had the Ten Commandments on a trailer, and we did a rally uh, talking about the Ten Commandments, telling people about Jesus, and saw some folks come to know the Lord. When the rally was over, we were all standing around, and this gentleman by the name of Marshall Cerna came up to me and said, Are you a veteran? Were you in the military? And I said, Yes, I was. Why do you ask? He said, Well, I too am a veteran. He didn't tell me then, but later I found out he had received two Purple Hearts. He'd been wounded, a uh, very great man of God in the military. And he said, my name is Marshall Cerna, but I'm known as Marshall Tall Eagle. And Marshall Tall Eagle is one of the representatives and the leaders in an organization called the Native American Nations of the United States of America. And he said, we are here in D.C. We respect you and we respect all your veterans. I, too, am a veteran. But he said, we're here in D.C. to open officially the Native American Museum of the United States of America. And, of course, it's a beautiful museum. If you've not been there, you need to go. But um, I would encourage you to go there, whether you're a Native American or not. And I'm not a Native American, but I am associated with them pretty closely, and I'll tell you why and how. At that time, Marshall Tall Eagle said, we would like you to come to the meeting where we're opening the museum. 
And I said, I'm not an Indian. And he said, that don't matter. You're a veteran. We want a veteran to help open it. And he said, we want you to be a speaker. And so I went down there. Obviously, being a preacher, I always get a chance to speak. And so I went there. And when I got there, though, he told me, I lied to you. Uh, we don't want you to speak. <laughs> I said, okay, that's all right. Uh, but what do you want me to do? He said, just hang out. Okay, I can handle that. And um, so I'm hanging out there. And they introduced some people and did some things and said, we're dedicating the opening of this museum the Native American Museum for the United States of America. This is the official kickoff day, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, we want to honor a veteran, a two-tour Vietnam veteran. And I'm thinking, who is that? I went to Vietnam. I went to Vietnam twice. And who are they talking about? And Marshall said, Wiley Drake. Well, hey, he's talking about me. Come forward. And I went forward, and they gave me a medal. And it says, Warriors Medal of valor. And they gave me a medal and said, as a warrior in the United States of America's military and as a warrior for our country, we want to bestow upon you this medal. And they gave me that medal and I cried like a baby. And, uh, you know, I was so humbled by what they did. And after it was all over, though, I said, Marshall, um, I know a lot of veterans in Buena Park, a lot of veterans in California. I would like for you to come and present them a medal as well. And he said, well, Wiley, I'm getting way up in years, and I don't travel much anymore. Don't, I can't travel much. And he said, so I can't do that. He said, but let me check with the council. And he checked with the council and got back to me and said, if you would like to present those medals to veterans, not only Native Americans, but just veterans of the military, if they're in the military or they served in the military, you can present those medals. Last year, we had the Veterans Day Memorial Service at Knott's Beer Farm. Many of you may not know this, and you probably ought to go by there if you can before you leave. Knott's Beer Farm has Independence Hall. Walter Knott, who started Knott's Beer Farm, went back to Philadelphia and took prints of the original Independence Hall, which is still there, and he replicated it. He rebuilt it brick by brick, stone by stone, right here in Buena Park. And so we have Independence Hall. And on Veterans Day last year, we presented over 30 of those Warriors Medal of Valor to military men and women who served our nation well from the Native American nations of the United States of America. And I want you to know I am very pleased to be, even though I'm not an Indian, I'm very pleased to be a representative of that organization. And if you're listening on television or watching on television, and you are a veteran, or your family member is a veteran, and you would like for us to present them a Warriors Medal of Valor, just get in touch with me and say, I would like you to present it to my brother, my sister, my friend, my neighbor. They're a veteran. All we have to do is verify what branch of the service they were in, and we will have them come here, and we will do a ceremony for them here at this church uh, and give them a Warriors Medal of Valor. We've also done two or three posthumously, which means that we had a lady, her husband was a veteran, but he had since died. And so we gave the medal to her on behalf of her former husband who had passed away, but who had served. So if we can help you with that in any way, please feel free to let us know. If you want to get in touch with me, my email is Wiley Wiley. That's two Wileys. Wiley Wiley. W-I-L-E-Y, W-I-L-E-Y, Wiley Wiley at A-T-T dot net. Wiley Wiley.